Many, many years ago, Mum and Dad really wanted wombats here at the zoo because they are such an icon species of Australia. Dad actually helped to design and build the perfect habitat for them, and it is spectacular. And he had a vision for breeding them because wombats are having a really tricky time in the wild. These guys are constantly getting hit by cars and their homes are being destroyed due to agriculture. But the wombat breeding is really difficult. Some of them get along really well, some of them don't. In fact, the last baby wombat born here at Australia Zoo was over two years ago. However, things are looking up. Where are we going? So this is Poa, and we may have seen Poa mating just a few months ago. So there's a chance that she might have a joey in her pouch, which is really exciting. But we can't really check her pouch while she's awake because she'll be most likely to turn around and just bite you. She terrifies me. <laughs> a wombat bite is a real bummer because it really hurts. They have these quite long, sharp teeth, and they kind of, they, their teeth go through you like butter. Poa here is especially feisty. She's constantly trying to attack her fellow wombat friends and occasionally has a go at the keepers. She doesn't want anyone touching her pouch. So today, our wombat keepers will sedate her to be able to check and see if she does have a joey. Hey, hey. You're going to shut that when she comes out. Trickiest part giving Poa this injection is if she turns around and tries to chase the vets. Hey, baby. Hi, Hi. I can try and sneak up behind her now. Just come. Because all you need to just watch those logs when you back up. Yep. Go, 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 go. Good work. Just <laughs> <laughs> you see how quick she turned? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> How long will it take her to go to sleep? Oh, it depends, but it should be about 10, 15 minutes. Okay. You want to go to sleep? At the moment, we're waiting for Poa to go to sleep. So, Poa being a very spirited wombat, she's fighting to make sure that she doesn't go to sleep. I'll go get a towel. Okay, you're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeyeah. At the moment, Poa's just still fighting the anaesthetic a little bit, so just trying to get her to be in a bit more of a darker place. Uh, hopefully it might help her just relax a little bit more, having something go for her face. Oh, she's a fighter. Um, Becky Jo, I'm just thinking, it's been 25, I might give her just a small top up. Yeah. Um, and just while she's standing there, we'll just inject her in. Yeah. yeah. It just might mean she might take a little bit longer to wake up. Yeah, that's good. But, yeah, it'll be less stressful for her. Yeah. Yeah, we need to... We need to get her down. She's still got a bit of go in her. Yeah? Yeah, All right. you tell me where you want to do I'm just it. It's going to go in their back leg. Yep. This one? It's the one that's... Yep, this one, yeah. Am I in the way? No, you're all right. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay, it's okay. Sweetie, we've given you 25 minutes, come on. What we might do is we might get everyone out and we'll see if she goes down without everyone in here. Hey, 
Topo, come on. Oh yeah, I can't give her any more injectable. Like she's had the high end dose, so. Come on, Poa. She's chewing the floor. I think we're winning. I think we are too. Yeah. So right now, we're waiting for Poa to go down. I'm so hoping that she might have a little girl or a little boy in her pouch so we all have our fingers and toes crossed. She's not actually asleep at the moment completely. She's still moving around, but she's deep enough that we can move her over to the hospital safely and Beck can monitor her vital signs from there. She's still got a bit of... <laughs> Sweetie. I think she's wake starting to wake up. Yeah, <laughs> I'm thinking I might. She is. Yeah. I'm just going to stick her in a little bit of uh, isoflurane, which is an anaesthetic agent that we use. If Poa was completely awake in here, it would be a bit of a nightmare for us because she's incredibly strong, but luckily she has had some anaesthetic, so she's not really at full strength. She's, she's started standing up. Oh, okay. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Stop trying to chew everything. Just go with it. Sorry, love. We're going to wait until she's completely asleep because <laughs> she's a little bit scary. OK. This is exciting. Yeah. Shall we flip her over? Yeah. This is awesome. Oh, oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> she's so cute. <gasps> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Look at his Look at his beautiful little face. Can we yeah. see if it's a boy oh, or a girl? Yes. Sweetheart, yes, please. Oh, OK. Oh, Go oh, on, darling. Shall we start with that? It's a girl. <gasps> it's a girl. Oh my goodness, yes, I'm so happy. It's <laughs> <laughs> true. Jeez, you guys, I don't know whether to cry no, or jump so up exciting. and down. Oh my goodness, baby. This is an amazing moment for our entire Australia Zoo team. Our first baby wombat in two years. Judging by her size, how old do you think she might be? We're bang on three months. Oh, my yeah. goodness. I reckon we'll start seeing legs and, like, head around yep. about, like, the seventh month yep. mark. Yep. And then, like, nine, ten months, they start falling out and chasing mum around. <laughs> this is probably the only time we're going to see it now for a very long yes. time, as Poa's not going to let us anywhere no, near her after this. going to be like, no, no. <laughs> Wombats are really tough to breed, so this is a real milestone for all of us. Oh my goodness, I'm just so excited. <laughs> I'm having one of those wombat fangirl moments. <laughs> She's adorable. Wuju에서 가장 재미있는 채널, Discovery.